Hi, I'm Niels, and that's Sir Walter. Let's go on an adventure. Hello and welcome here to a new episode on the hard life of Walter the Dog YouTube channel. Today we are going to hike to the Marienwarte here in Austria, in our new hometown of Wells, or more specifically Talheim by Wells as the town is called. So we are starting our journey here in Neustadt where we live and we are going to make our way over to the Traun River and then onward to Talheim and then up to the Marienbad itself. Apologies about the quality here. Um, this is still one of my first videos filming Walter and I'm not perfect yet with the camera holding the camera well. Plus I was dealing with these two dogs on a Saturday morning when everyone was going to the market and it was a bit messy as they are trying to pull me in all kinds of directions. I'm holding the camera, watch traffic, watch other pedestrians, deal with their sniffing, pooping, peeing and so on. It, it wasn't easy, simply said. At this stage we are closing on the bridge underneath the railroad tracks here in Wells. It is quite a nicely done area actually. I know most people are very concerned when it sort of comes to underpasses, bridges, loud areas, dark spots. This area is actually rather well lit and the entirety of it is having this graffiti on the sides that you see here a little bit on the on the right and it's artistic actually it's not sort of like some somebody went there and spray painted stuff there are some sections where you can have see that obviously but for the most part it's actually very artistic it looks pretty nice and it is done with purpose and goal here so it's it makes the underpass rather pretty I would even say there are definitely other underpasses in town under the railroad tracks that are by far not in any shape or form like that. So at this stage we're gonna accelerate again and we are gonna make our way through the city center of Wales. We'll, we'll do another video on that at some point. I'll let it roll here for a little bit with some music in the background and in about three minutes or so as we get closer to the river itself and our crossing I'll check back in with you.
at this point we are closing on the drown there was a little creek here on our side that is i think going back to roman times and we are actually at this point searching for my wife and kid trying to locate some so we're actually going to do a little circle here around the um, the park this is where i'll have another video soon where the um, fair every fall and spring takes place in town and they have like carnival rides and food and a tent with a beer garden in it it's it's really pretty stuff actually it's fun kids love it it's very engaging still searching here's one of these rivers and now we have found my wife and kid and we're making our way back again into the park and then we'll head across the river here in a, in a minute at this point i think the battery gave out or it overheated we are now on the other side of the river and this is the community of talheim by wells it's a community of about 5,000 people and they are about as old a community as we are on the other side of sort of in wells they're dating back to roman times they were the location of one of the roman roads that cut through the area as well kind of lying above the floodplain of the town and the swampy surroundings of the river now the town itself today not not that impressive my son likes to go over to a playground in the town which is actually pretty nice but we have found some parents that come down there not the not the most friendly but a bit on the snotty side a bit of loft higher class type so now at this stage we are on in the forest this is what is called the Rheinberg and according to some local legends it was part of the defensive positions during the middle ages of the town and surroundings however when in the 1870s the area was looked at they decided to actually replace the farmland that was on the Rheinberg and in 1881 they planted a lot of these trees which are still there as somebody from the united states i have serious issues with some of the ivy that's all over the place considering how many hours i spend on my knees or ripping that stuff out it's painful to see it here but here we are they they did it so in the 1890s then there was this call to build a tower here and the landowner Johann Polberg, 1891, offered the area for free for the construction. It is actually today part of the city of Wells, even though we're on the other side of the river in a different town. The tower itself is 22.8 meters high, and it took quite a bit of effort to, to build it. They actually built a little cable car up to it to make sure that the material could be easily transported up the tower itself then is completed in July of 1891 and it actually had some prominent visitors in its first year among them the Emperor of Austria Franz Josef came and earlier even his wife Empress Elizabeth better known as Sissy came also to see the, the tower The long staircase as you can see here but the views as we'll see in a minute are extraordinary from up there you are by the point at the very top 390 meters above sea level and as a result you can look as far as the alps i don't have a picture of that we'll just look into the northern 
directions towards Linz as well as towards the Czech Republic. So at this stage, we are going to make our way down the hill again and then back to the Trown and home. I hope you enjoyed this quick episode of our walk up to the Marienwarte and the views of Wells and its surroundings here. Again, it's a beautiful countryside. It's a beautiful walk. There are some extraordinary old structures in this area, historic buildings that you're passing. It is incredible. I hope you liked this video again apologies about the quality and the camera angle with some of this it is going to get better so bear with me there will be some better videos in the future but i hope if you did like it like the video subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again very shortly with another hiking video